So I was approached by a company called Lightpix Labs and they suggested I review their new flash which is called um, Flash QX20. And in general uh, I'm not that interested in reviewing flashes because I'm quite happy with the ones I have. But this one stood out to me and the reason is that first of all it is very small and compact that always gets my attention I like small and compact camera gear but above all as you can see here you can actually detach this little thing from the bottom and you have a wireless flash which is quite amazing if you ask me because this little transmitter it is so much smaller than anything I've seen before uh, this is the transmitter that uh, I normally use when I want to go wireless uh, with my Godox flash. So, I mean, compare these, <laughs> it's quite a big difference. And also, it is so nice to have such a compact flash that you can still use wirelessly and then easily switch into a non-wireless mode. I think that is a killer feature. Uh, another thing I really love about this flash is the interface. I think this is a very well designed interface. Uh, this is actually the first time I have like a very simple way of just pushing a button to uh, change the strength when I'm in manual mode. And this is basically the only thing I do with my flash when I'm out shooting. I just want to, a simple way to, with the press of one button up or down, change the strength of the flash. And in the other flashes I have, like a, a Mikey MK320 or the Godox TT685, I actually have to go into some kind of menu and perform several steps to be able to change the strength of the flash. Um, which is very frustrating, uh, even though you get used to this, of course. But I love the interface of this flash. Uh, of course you have manual mode, but you also have TTL and you have um, a couple of um, uh, saved modes. Let's see here. You just press the mode button here. And then we have the video light mode where you have a supporting video light for modeling. Uh, or actually this is the modeling mode where you have the video light and you can combine it with flashes. And then you have a preset mode, S1, another preset mode, S2, TTL and manual. And a very nice and simple on off switch. And... Uh, yeah, that's about it. I like the simplicity of this flash, even though it has everything you need. You can also adjust the angle like this. So let's take a look at the transmitter unit. You detach it by pressing this button here. And as you can see, there, these metal things, they are only to hold it in place. They are actually not any electrical contacts. So even when the flash is mounted on the transmitter unit, it still uh, works wirelessly. So you don't have any problems with proximity. Like for example, on the Godox system, you have to enter a special mode when you start the transmitter to be able to use the flash very close to your camera as you do in macro photography. Also a very nice thing here is that uh, you have a, a tripod uh, socket here. Uh, if you want to put it on a normal tripod, can be useful. And the transmitter, uh, it only has three buttons. Uh, on uh, one side you have the on off button, on the other side you have um, uh, up and down in uh, strength, so you can adjust it here. And also here you have a small USB, micro USB port to uh, charge it. So the transmitter has some kind of built in battery I think and uh, you charge it with the USB. Uh, but the flash itself is powered by two AA batteries. I only think it comes for Sony at the moment. Uh, I haven't researched that too deeply, but I think this is only available for Sony so far. So I used it on my Sony a7 III to test it a bit the other day. I was very excited to get this flash because uh, finally I don't need to carry around two different systems. I mean I use the Godox when I want to go wireless and hold the flash in my hand. And then I use the Mikey MK320 when I want to have the flash on the camera. So I thought, wow, it's very nice that I have just one compact small flash that I can use for everything. But um, I found a pretty big problem when I was out testing this flash, um, at least for my use in macro photography. Unfortunately, this flash is too weak. Even when I put it at a pretty high strength, like one eighth of a second, and when I 
put the flash very close to the subject. Basically, I put it uh, like this in the diffuser and I have it like this. And even if I take a photo now of something sitting on my finger at this distance, at one eighth uh, in strength, it still is a bit dark. And at one eighth, uh, the recycle time is pretty long. So if you want to take a quick series of photos as you often want to do in macro photography, you can't really do that, unfortunately, because this flash is a bit too weak. And the flash strength is decided by the guide number. And to give you an idea of the strength of the flash, it has a guide number of 20, which is the same as this very small um, flash for my Fuji system. Uh, and 20, I found that now through trying this flash and this one as well, that that is a little bit too little for macro photography, at least for me. Uh, I have found that you need something um, along the lines of this one, the Mikey MK320. This has a guide number of 32. Uh, and that is, uh, for me, enough for macro photography. Then we have the Godox V350. And this one has a guide number of 36, so it's even a bit stronger than the Mikey MK320. And then we have uh, this big boy, the TT685, and this one actually has a guide number of 60. So it is um, three times as uh, powerful as the X20 from Flash Q. So I'm gonna keep following this company, Lightpix Labs, and see what they release in the future because I really love the system they have developed and also, of course, the menu and, and everything about it except that it is too weak. So if they would release a flash with a guide number of like 32 or more, I would be very interested in trying that because that would probably be my dream flash for macro photography. So yeah. My conclusion is this is a great flash, a great user interface and a pretty good price point at $150 or so. And it's very cool with the wireless uh, system that you can uh, just take the flash off and have a very small transmitter and use it wirelessly and just, just put it back and use it as a normal flash. But I will not be able to use this flash for my uses in macro photography because it is too weak unfortunately. That's it for this video. Please do support me on Patreon if you like my videos. It means a lot to me. Go join me there and get extra behind the scenes material and full size photos and whatnot. And yeah, see you very soon again in another video over and out. Bye bye.